Now, we don't try to create like a series of video with a lot of fluff here at Viking. We pretty much try to just show you what's really going on. Uh, what's been going on now, if you look at our previous video, is that uh, we reduced the uh, uh, RPM, uh, as in increased the pitch on the Aventura aircraft. Uh, this little video is showing the actual results from Alex flying that airplane uh, and what he found. Take a look at this first clip, it's at 4,900 RPM and the airplane's doing almost 90 miles an hour. Now in this next clip, you can watch uh, Alex flying at uh, reduced RPM of about 4,500 and you'll see that the airspeed is over 80 miles an hour. So all of this is in the yellow arc of the Aventura. Uh, rather than relying on a you know, uh, high RPM, uh, high gearbox ratio engine, like a 2.66 or some really crazy high ratio, um, the Viking 130 has the torque, as you can see on the torque chart on our website. Uh, the gearbox is at 2.33 to one and uh, lots of torque is available re at really, really low RPM on the propeller. And you can see Alex uh, pulling the power back uh, to 4,500 RPM, which of course a Rotex is 5,800. So now anyone that's talking about like auto conversions uh, and high RPM need to really kind of rethink their thinking because the Viking 130 has to torque to be able to pull and perform and outperform the Rotax and any other auto conversion due to the direct injection, the variable valve timing, and the variable valve lift at 4,500 RPM. Here's an Aventura that's cruising faster at 4,500 RPM than what a Rotax powered one would do at over 5,000 RPM, probably 54 to 5,500 RPM. Watch this next clip. So you might say, so what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is you need to actually wake up. Here's a automotive conversion at 130 horsepower for half, and that's a real half. That's, that's, you, keep, you keep half of the money, okay? And you get a Honda conversion engine at 130 horsepower. It'll outperform the road tax hands down, absolutely hands down. You get 85 to 90 miles an hour out of an Aventura that's almost to the red line, okay? You can cruise at 4,000 RPM if you want. You're going to get 75 miles an hour. You're going to burn three gallons an hour. This is huge, okay? Low price, high quality, long lasting, hundreds of people flying, and a seaplane that can get off the water in no time at all with two people in full fuel costing very little to buy the engine conversion is dirt cheap you could get parts everywhere um, it's more than just like you know should i try this engine maybe i should pay more maybe i should pay a lot more and get a road tax no this is better it's direct injected it has all these features and now you can see the performance clearly and the owner and demo pilot of the amateur alex is showing you that there's no other engine in the Aventura that can do this kind of performance. Not only having the torque and showing you this, the next thing we're going to show you is the fuel flow at cruise with this airplane. But being able to have this kind of torque, turning the propeller at this kind of thrust, 550 pounds, 600 if you want more RPM, but as you saw in the previous video, lowering the RPM, getting a quieter ride, much lower fuel burn, keeping the cruise speed up, having plenty of takeoff performance, 
using regular auto fuel, it's an amazing thing. And that all that at half the cost of a 5,800 RPM Rotox, sometimes with a turbocharger for huge amount of money.